Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm going to show you how I fix this garage door for less than $10 on Dad It Yourself. So here I am at this project. This house was built in 1977, and I think this door is original to the home. A uh, customer called me over and said, hey, I got a garage door that keeps jamming up. So I came over and looked. This door is wooden. Uh, it's not metal, but it's set up just like a metal rolling up door. But if you look right up here, you can see how the seam has pulled away. The other panels, they all look pretty good, but this top one uh, needs a little work. Uh, if you're familiar with how a cabinet door is put together, same type of joinery. So I'm going to pull this door panel off, take it back to my shop, glue it up, and reinstall it. Okay, so I'm in the garage now, inside, and you can see we got some light leaks. Where that joint is split over there in the corner, right there at that joint. Got a little bit of this panel, looks like it got chewed up for some reason right there, so I may have to replace this panel. And then down there, some more light leaks as the panel has slid out and the joints have come across. All right, let's get this thing taken down. So there's the door, it's in the shop. As you can see, it pretty much fell apart when I was taking it out. All of the joints along the top failed. Uh, you can see right there, it was just held in with a staple, one staple on that tongue, and that came out right there as well, failed. And down here, all the way to the end. So everything looks good, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to replace this panel. We'll have to take a look. It's quarter inch Luon, so not a huge deal. Uh, the big challenge here is this piece here failed completely. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to cut this right here and then remill this piece and, or something to that effect. We'll have to figure that out. First thing to do, I'm going to take off this torsion bar so I can get to the wood. Okay, so I got the door on the floor now just because it's a little bit easier. I'm not fighting gravity. Got all four panels back in it. Got a loose joint right there. There's one right there. That one seems to be holding okay. Uh, just with staples. I'm going to put some nails in it and if I can get a little glue in there I'm going to do that as well. As you can see I got the top rail completely off. It's over here. And then I've got to fix that panel. So let's get started.
right, so I'm onto this broken piece here. I've got two choices. I can router this out all the way down and sister another piece onto that and then put the bull nose on it with the router. Or I can cut it right here. This is a finger joint. And then do a rabbit and put a new piece on from here to here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mill this piece. I think it'll be easier and quicker than actually fixing it the other way. So let's get started on that. So I'm gonna use my trim router to route a quarter inch groove, a quarter inch from the top and the bottom of the end grain here. So I have a finger to put the new piece into. So here I have to cut this, the original length of the piece I cut off, plus three eighths of an inch as measured with this square. Let's go this way. Okay, the piece is all repaired, milled, and glued back in place, and tacked with some 3 quarter inch 18 gauge brad nails just to strengthen that joint up, and that's looking good. Now it's time to put it on here. I already cleaned out all these joints, and we'll put some glue in there, put the piece on, and then clamp it and let it dry overnight. Here we go.
Okay, that straight up kicked my ass. But I got all the clamps on, got everything pounded down, hit it with 18 gauge, three quarter inch nails, and I'm just gonna let that dry for about an hour or so. I'm gonna flip it over, put it up on the saw horses, get some paint on that other side, and that thing will be ready to install tomorrow. There it is, fresh coat of white paint, three coats. Looks really good. I went in and I also put in right there, four inch lag screws on the tops and the bottoms just to tighten everything up. This door takes all the weight of the other three panels so it's gotta be nice and strong. I'll flip it over tomorrow when the paint dries, put the torsion bar back on and take it over and install it. The homeowner received a quote for over $800 to replace this door for $10 in materials to replace a panel, some screws, brad nails, and glue. I was able to put this panel back together and get this door back in operations. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here if you're interested, and the subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.